ladies and gentlemen, from Galway, the hometown man, Mr. Ronan Rooney. No pressure, hometown, hometown man. Thanks very much. I'm glad you said, um, I'm glad we're all alive, because it's kind of important. It's a kind of a subset of all of us that we kind of need to hold on to. I want to share something with you. In 2009, my father died. He was the principal of our property company. And I found that overnight I had taken over a business in what was to be confirmed as the worst property crash in world history. There was one in Japan in 1987. We outstripped that. There's no claim to fame. But for me, the journey was not about that. The journey was about the experience that I had through that. And what I want to share with you is not my story, not my sad story. I want to share with you the story of the experience. For me, through that, I experienced grief, I experienced anxiety, I experienced depression, culminating in a little bit of insolvency thrown in, just for good measures. But what happened in the end was I went from somebody so, so confident to somebody who questioned my own self-belief. And the self-doubt was unbelievable. And it nearly broke me. But I'm not going to share that story with you because we all have our stories. There are so many of my friends and colleagues and professionals that, not just those that were concerned with the property market, but back then, 2007 and 2008, the financial markets, the economic mar markets, everybody has their own story. My story turned out to be an actual happy story. But I'm not going to bore you with it. Because what I want to teach you is the two biggest learnings that I had through that experience. And they are stress and change. So stress, don't underestimate stress. There's so many people that I meet and they say, oh no, I don't have stress in my life, I'm managing this and I'm managing that. The reality is you're not. Stress is out there, it is getting stronger and stronger. The information age of technology and the data bombardment that we are getting, our brains can't cope with it. You have got to manage stress and you've got to put in mitigation measures to manage it. So what I would say in the first instance is stress. For me, how I got through it was primordial sound meditation. It's a mantra-based meditation. I learned it with Deepak Chopra in California, and it was my saving grace. That and some mindfulness techniques were just outstanding, and they got me through it. What I would say is just recognize that there is stress, manage it by putting in mitigation measures, find out what is it that works for you, because it's different for everybody. But that is stress, don't underestimate it. The second thing is change. Change is profound. You know, it's our natural state. Change, another word, is growth. You cannot stay static. Stagnation strangles us. Our natural state is growth, and it's change. But what you have to do is you've got to embrace change at three different levels. The level of the self, you've got to allow yourself to change and be kind to yourself and allow yourself to become the person you are. And the second level then is with your business. You've got to allow your business to change and to emerge to, into what it's supposed to do and make those decisions that you know have got to be made and have the courage to make those decisions to allow it to change. And then the third area, which a lot of people forget about, is the external environment. You have to recognize the changes that are happening in the external environment and see how they are affecting you and your business. And you have got to stay aligned not only with yourself, you've got to have your business aligned with yourself and your purpose and your why, but you have also got to be aligned with what's going on in the external environment around you. Now comes the really interesting part. Because how do you actually bring this change into your everyday life? It happens on three levels. I've been studying mastery of consciousness for years, and it is intriguing, and it is getting stronger and stronger. And the reason it is getting stronger is because we're going through an evolution of consciousness at the moment. That's why so many weird things are happening in the world. It's happening at the level of the conscious. The three levels that you have to change are, first of all, conscious level. Your thinking. Our thoughts create a reality. The way we think creates the world around us. Our thoughts come into us first of all, and then we interpret those thoughts, and then we decide, yes, that's what I believe in. And it becomes a belief, and it becomes who we are. So your thoughts are hugely important. And if they're not working for you, you've got to change them. The most fantastic thing, though, is that you can change it in an instant. If you think about it, between two thoughts, there's a gap. And they say that the gap between thoughts is where the biggest opportunities are, and your pure potential can come out of that. Because whenever you have one thought, there is a gap between the next thought, and you are in perfect control on what that next thought is. But we have lots of different random habitual patterns of thoughts that are stuck in there, and we have to work on them. 
So at the next level is the conditioning level, which is the subconscious. So we've just spoken about the conscious, and don't underestimate, you know that picture we had years ago about the iceberg, and the top 10% was your conscious, and the bottom 90% was your subconscious? There are loads more layers. But for the moment, the conscious level is your thoughts, the subconscious is your conditioning. When we're really, really young, from the age of seven it starts, we are conditioned by our parents, our teachers, our friends, then it moves on to our employees and employers, and, and everyone we, we meet. And what happens is that we become conditioned into the personality that is us. But a lot of the time, it's inherited beliefs. It's somebody else's beliefs. It's your teachers, your parents, your friends. So we inherit other people's beliefs, and they become who we are. They're called sub-personalities. And then we have experiences. And our experiences, then we look at them, and we interpret them. And then sometimes they work for us. But sometimes we've got to revisit them, because they have conditioned us into the person that we are. So what you have to look at is, first of all, the conscious level changing your thoughts, and then you have to look at the conditioning. What are the habitual patterns of thought? What am I doing all the time that is not working for me? And change the conditioning. It's like reprogramming yourself. And it is done at the conscious level, first of all, but then you have to go deeper into meditation practices to override and to reprogram that conditioning. But this is the best level next, the super conscious level. And this is not just me just talking. There are quantum physicists that are raving about this. There is a super conscious level. And you know what's down there? Your best expression. It is your blueprint. It is how you fit into the world. It's your why, it's your purpose, it's every single thing about you. And it's how you fit into the grand scheme of things. If you stay aligned with that area, everything else gets eroded. You don't have to do any of that conscious stuff or that subconscious stuff. This goes right through it and it wipes everything else. This is the area where you have deja vu, synchronicity, coincidences. It's when you make the best decisions, it's, and you don't know why, but it's because you're aligned with yourself, you're aligned with your business, your business was aligned with you, and you're aligned with the external environment and everybody else around you. So you couldn't lose. So you have got to stay aligned. Now, I've, it's eight minutes is all I got, so it's hard to get all this across, but I want you to take away something from this. In summary, Stress is huge, recognize it, manage it, and mitigate against it. Change, then, has got to be brought into your life at the level of the personal, at the level of your business, and at the level of the external environment, recognizing it and making sure you stay aligned with everything. And then the level of integration, of integration to change, comes at the conscious level by changing your thoughts, at the subconscious level by recognizing that conditioning and changing, reprogramming that conditioning, and then at the deeper level, the subconscious, finding out who you really are, are you aligned? And if you're not, change it. But that happens at a very, very deep level. You need help, you need to basically look at meditation, open awareness, expanded states of awareness, and expanded states of consciousness. And I can't go into all of that now, but I'm willing to talk to anybody who wants to talk about it, because I love talking about that kind of stuff. So what I'd say is just take two things away from today. If nothing else, take two things away. Recognize stress and manage it. Change your thoughts if things are not working. And what I leave you with is that we are all here to be the best expression we can be in this world and in this life form. You've got to hold on to that, stay aligned with yourself, and then everything else around you, make sure that it is aligned with you and with who you really are, not what somebody else is telling you. And be the best expression you can be. Thank you. Thank you.